Hello investors, welcome back to the number one place for your investing needs. So as the markets are crashing down, it is bringing us good buying opportunities on the dips. So ask yourself this question, would you rather be buying at the all time highs like last month you were doing? Or would you rather buy right now when the markets are down and stocks are down 10, 20, even 30%? I know what I would definitely be picking. So today I'm going to be going over some. Uh, I'm going to be going over five dividend stocks that are I am currently looking at for a good buying opportunity that are down currently with the market. But I know you know I feel like there's good potential for them in the long run to recover. Uh, they might still even keep going down for a little bit, but in the long run, I know that uh, they have very good chances of coming back up and making me some profit. Now before we get into the list, guys, go ahead and take a second and smash that like button for me. Let's try to get over 100 likes on this video. Make sure you subscribe to the channel to stay up to date with all the content that I make. Now I asked you guys what type of content you guys wanted and we had 30 people vote on it. 43% of you guys said dividend investing, 33% said growth, 13% said penny stocks, and then 10% of you guys said blue chip stocks. So we're going to be going over some of these uh, dividend stocks that are a great time to invest right now. Now if we take a look at the futures, uh, futures are down a lot, almost 5%. I haven't seen this you know, since I've been investing. So Futures are down 1,255 points currently. Okay, so the Dow Jones is definitely down. Uh, it was, you know, about 29,000 points uh, in February 18th. And from there, we've just been going downhill. Now, we did make this low right here of about uh, 24,720. So we're up actually about 1,000 points above that low that happened about on February 28th. So we kind of made a little bit of a trend up, but now we're back down. And uh, tomorrow seems like it's going to be a you know horrible day, so that means it's probably going to break through that support. So I'm going to be going over this list of the five dividend stocks, but the prices of these dividend stocks is probably going to be even lower when I upload this video. So the prices I show in here are going to be probably a lot lower, and that means you're gonna you guys are going to be able to even get in at a cheaper price than I'm showing in the video. All right, guys. So the number five stock that I'm going to be showing you guys on this video is going to be ticker symbol BAC, which is Bank of America. So Bank of America is down actually in the past month. It was trading at about 34, almost $35, and currently it's trading at 25.71. Wow, that is a huge drop. So that's a 26% drop for Bank of America. And Bank of America is an American multinational investment bank and finance services company. So let's take a look at this. 52 week high, uh, 35 it says right there, 35.72. 52 week low, we're pretty much at the low right now. Uh, P.E. ratio is 8.64 and then the dividend is 2.8%, which is about 72 cents uh, market cap of 224 billion. Uh, this stock is actually a decent stock to hold. But right now with the markets being down, it's lost about what a quarter of its value. Um, if we take a look at the, their dividend right here, the dividend scoreboard, obviously it says 2.8%, which is about 0.18 cents per quarter, which adds up to be about 0.72 cents per year. Uh, their dividend yield is actually pretty good. Uh, Four-year average yield, 1.61. Right now, it's at 2.8. So it's been steadily increasing, actually. If we look here over time, in the past uh, five years, the dividend has been increasing, you know, going higher and higher, which is a very positive thing. And right now, we're actually, you know, at a really high point. That means as the stock, you know, it's the, the dividend is keeping up or beating uh, as the stock is going up or going down. So it's keeping up with it. If we take a look at uh, the dividend, uh, the dividend growth on this one, T years of growth, six years. So for the past six years, so 2014, 2015, 16, 17, 18, 19, the dividend has been growing slowly, obviously. Uh, right here after 2018, after the, the market crash, you know, their dividend was horrible, 0.04 cents, uh, very low. You know, it took a while for the market to recover. But right now the dividend is, you know, booming and it's coming back up. Now we don't know what's going to happen with this whole, um, you know, crash that's going on right now. But this is a good sign that the growth is growing. Now, if we look at their dividend safety, uh, right here is their payout ratio, which is about 24%. Uh, you know, it was about 16%, 15%, and it's been steadily going up a little bit, which is not too bad if we take a look at that. But uh, yeah, guys, so Bank of America is our number five pick. Um, you know, I believe tomorrow it's probably going to open under $25 for sure with markets being down so much. But Bank of America down 26% currently. Great time for, you know, investors to get in on it. Nice dividend of 2.8% on it. I love it. All right, so the number four pick on our list is going to be ticker symbol MCD, which is McDonald's. So McDonald's is an American uh, fast food company founded in 1940. And currently, McDonald's is down about 8.5% in the past month. So it was trading at about $216, uh, $217 area. It went down to about $191, recovered a little bit, and now it's down to about $198. 
uh, which is actually a decent price uh, under 200 bucks for McDonald's a uh, good time you know to get some more especially in my portfolio I'm actually adding some McDonald's because uh, my buy price is above this price so 52 week high of 221 a 52 week low of 178 their PE ratio is not too high it's actually 23 uh, 23.31 which is not bad uh, their dividend yield is 2.51% with a dividend rate of uh, $5 per year. And then if we take a look at their dividends right here, obviously 2.51%, $1.25 like we just said. And then if we look right here in the past five years, their dividend kind of was going down, you know, the rate was going down and then now it's been pretty steady in the past two years, but it's it's decent, 2.5%. I guess it's not keeping up with the growth of McDonald's. So as the growth of McDonald's stock is going up, the dividend is not really going up as well. It's just kind of been steadily staying at the same, you know, amount, about 2.5%, but that's not bad at all. If we look at the dividend growth for McDonald's, years of growth, 43 years. Wow, 43 years of growth for McDonald's. Wow, that is amazing. I mean, it's just been going up, you know, even right here after the crash, you know, in 2008, it was still able to, you know, pay out more and more per share. Uh, and now it's over almost almost $5 per share, you know, yearly, which is amazing. Uh, just been continuously increasing. If we look at their dividend history, obviously right here, same, same kind of chart, uh, you know, it's been paying out you know, per share $1.16, quarterly $1.16, $1.16, $1.16, $1.25, and then $1.25 again. So it's been either staying about the same or increasing. And then their dividend dividend safety, their payout ratio is about 58.6, which is a lot better than what it was right here, where it was doing like a payout ratio about 72, 72.5. Uh, now it's a lot lower, you know, in the 50s, closer, you know, under almost under 50, which is good in my opinion. But McDonald's right now is down about eight and a half percent. So another you know great opportunity for investors to get in. The number three stock on our list is going to be ticker symbol S T O R, which is Store Capital. So this is a REIT and this is a real estate investment trust company. So REITs, um, you know, they're kind of special. They have to pay out about ninety percent of their uh, earnings towards dividends. So this stock is down about twenty percent in the past month. It was trading at around forty dollars right here, forty dollars per share. Currently, it's trading at 32.10. I mean, that's a really, really low. If we take a look at the 52-week high, it's uh, almost $41. And then the 52-week low is currently almost where it's at right now, which is about $31. Um, you know, that is not good at all. Their dividend rate is 4.36% or about $1.40. Their market cap is $7.83 billion. And then if we look at their dividends right here, obviously, like we said, 4.36%, which is about... 0.35 cents per quarter or $1.40 per year. If we look at their dividend yield, uh, the average four-year dividend is 4.57%. So it's been increasing steadily from down here and then now it's kind of uh, staying stagnant at about the same price or same percentage. If we look at their dividend growth in the past four years, you know, they've had growth for four years about $1.04, $1.12, $1.20, $1.28, and currently it's at $1.36. So not bad dividend history, if we take a look at that. I mean, you know, it's been increasing the amount that they're paying out. You know, they've had some some areas where it stayed the same, but mainly it's been going up and it's about 0.35 cents per share per quarter right now. And then their dividend safety is looking good. I mean, payout ratio is, says about 70%. Um, you know, they have to pay out a certain amount of the profits out, you know, because it is a REIT. So that is the rules that it has to happen. Uh, like example is a uh, realty income ticker symbol O they have to pay out you know a certain amount to the investors from their profits and that is because you know they are a REIT company so this is a great buying opportunity in my opinion I mean if we take a look right there we, we lost all the gains right there for that past year it's down here at a low um, especially for people that are really into REITs like myself I have ticker symbol O and I have store capital as well as wall tower so I'm definitely going to be adding this one to my portfolio for sure because it's at a good buying price for me and you know long-term holding next up coming in at the number two spot is going to be ticker symbol CMCSA which is Comcast so Comcast is an American telecommunications company and they're currently down about 12% in the past month. So they were trading at around $46, maybe a little bit higher. And currently they're trading at $40.37. The stock is down 12%, like we just said. Uh, you know, 52 week high of $47, 52-week low of $37. Uh, PE ratio 12.57. Their dividend yield is at 2.28% or about 92 cents per year. Their market cap is at 183.8 billion. 
If we look at their dividends right here, it's going to show the same information I just said, 2.28%, about $0.23 cents per quarter or $0.92 cents per year. Their dividend yield, uh, average, their average four-year yield is about 1.88%. So we, it was kind of high up here at almost 2.75%. Uh, it went down in 2017 to about 1.4%, and it's been steadily growing and increasing right now. Now, some things to be looking out for in Comcast, obviously, is 5G. They are one of the top competitors for 5G, as well as T-Mobile, or not T-Mobile, uh, AT&T, uh, Verizon, and companies like that. They're all competing for that in the future. So years of growth is three years for the dividend. Um, you know, but their dividend is a lot higher than what it used to be, you know, back 10 years ago. So right now they're paying out a lot higher. They even had a stock split right there in 2017. That's something to look at. Uh, if we look at their dividend history, it's going to show right here. Um, you know, it's, it's, I mean, it's higher than what it was in these past 10 years. So I, I, I enjoy it about 0.23 cents per quarter. Not bad. And then if we look at their dividend safety, so their payout ratio is only 28.65%. Uh, it was a lot higher, almost double, about 46, 47% right here, and it's been going down, which is good. That means that they're paying out less of their profits out to the you know, cu customers or the, the stock owners, which means they can invest more money into the company and maybe have better growth in the future. So Comcast, another great stock to be buying on this dip, down about 12% current. All right, so it's time for the number one spot. The number one spot is going to be ticker symbol INTC which is Intel Corporation. So Intel is an American multinational corporation and technology company. So the, currently in the past month, this uh, stock is down about 17%. It was trading at about $67 per share. Currently, it's trading at about 55.77. Uh, you know, 52-week high is about $69. And then the 52-week low is at about $42, with their dividend um, being about 2.37% or $1.32 uh, per year. And the P.E. ratio is about 11.19, which is very low. I love very low P.E. ratios. That means they're able to invest more money into the company instead of having to pay out their profits. So if we look at their dividend, like we said, 2.37% or three, 33 cents per quarter, $1.32 per year. Their dividend yield, if we take a look right here, their average dividend yield in the past four years is 2.71%. So it's been steadily about the same, maybe a little bit down. So it's not keeping up with the stock price as the price is going up. Uh, if we look at their dividend growth, in the past 17 years, growth has been going up. So that's something you know positive right there. 17 years of growth, uh, that is amazing, really, if you take a look. So that means since about, what, 2013 2000 and, or 2002 or three, it's just been steadily growing, you know, 45 cents right there, 78 cents, 87 90 and then it broke a dollar in 2016 and currently it's at a dollar and 26 cents per share if we look at their dividend history uh dividend history is looking amazing it's been on a trend up obviously it's getting higher and higher currently at about 0.33 cents per quarter uh amazing growth and then the dividend safety for them like we said payout ratio 26.49 percent uh you know it was a lot higher and now it's getting lower and lower which means you know once again they can go ahead and invest more money into the company instead of having to pay out most of their profits and dividends so intel uh obviously a lot of stuff is going on you know with the whole tech uh, tech market right now microsoft is down facebook all of the big stocks are down right now because of uh, the whole um you know virus that's going around the world but i believe that once you know things go back to normal obviously intel has many wonderful things to in the future and the stock will hopefully be back up but uh, yeah, guys, if you guys enjoyed these top five uh, stocks for the top dividends right now in March, go ahead and smash that like button for me. Make sure you subscribe to the channel. Leave a comment below telling me what stock are you guys looking at right now? What stocks are having a good buying opportunity? You know, are you a dividend investor or are you buying on the dip right now in dividends? Or are you just watching from the sidelines and hoping that the market goes down even more for, so you can get a better uh, buying opportunity? Uh, I personally am buying slowly on the dip, so every time it goes down, I've been buying more and more to my portfolio. So yeah, guys, hope you guys enjoyed, and I'll see you guys next time.